Now to a News Channel 5 exclusive. Alarming new numbers from the State Highway Patrol show more than half of the deadly crashes on the turnpike in recent years were caused by speeding. And we've also seen a huge spike in the numbers of drivers clock going 100 miles per hour or more. Our Kristen Volk got an exclusive look today at how troopers now catching speeders by plane. Work on a black SUV in the 90s. He's all by himself, center lane. With a stopwatch in one hand and his eye on a black SUV below, we watched as the State Highway Patrol trooper clocked driver's speeds on the Ohio Turnpike today from thousands of feet above. I'm watching one now. I don't have a check on him, but it'll probably be a keeper. We are hovering above one of the Turnpike's 36 speed enforcement areas, all of which are a mile long. What we're looking for is aggressive drivers. We want the ones that are most likely going to cause the accident. The patrol looks for those kinds of drivers with a trooper in the air, measuring distance over time, and troopers on the ground, ready to stop speeding cars and trucks, described by the pilot. It's a coordinated effort that Trooper Brian Dale says is very efficient. We can usually get multiple vehicles at a time, uh, allowing troopers to stop more vehicles. They are vehicles that are going more than 100 miles per hour. The turnpike speed limit is 70. We're definitely getting more uh, in the hundreds, and we're looking for them. State Highway Patrol planes are also looking carefully at construction zones like this one here in Erie County to catch semis in the wrong lane. This is where a 14-year-old girl died last month after troopers say a semi truck slammed into the back of the pickup she was riding in. That semi was in the left lane. It should have been in the right. This is the same road that our families are driving on with uh, folks that are driving this aggressive, and we're just trying to get them to slow down, pay attention, and uh, get to wherever they're going safely. State Highway Patrol is getting aggressive with speeding in construction zones here on the turnpike. Statistics show that there has been a 60% increase in the number of tickets they have issued between last year and this year at this time. Now, it is still unclear if the truck driver in that fatal crash, who has been charged, was speeding at the time of the incident. In Elyria, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.